New at four, two men are facing charges this afternoon after police connected them to a car driving recklessly. These arrests come as a new law was kick, has kicked in, making drag racing a felony in Tennessee. Thank you for joining us for your news leader at four. I'm April Thompson. I'm Alex Coleman. Here is WREG Shea Arthur to explain. Drag racing, driving erratically, street takeovers, sights and sounds many Memphians are tired of. Memphis police just told us of these two men arrested back on June 28th. Officers reported they saw a red Dodge Charger run a red light at South Perkins and American Way, then take off on I-240, eastbound, speeding, weaving from lane to lane. Police didn't pursue, but later located the car. 18 miles away in a neighborhood in Cordova, where they saw two men get out of the vehicle. The driver was 21-year-old Dalen Harris. 22-year-old Cordarius Hampton was also arrested. Police tell us he had a stolen gun. The two men weren't the only ones taken away. These pictures show that red Dodge Charger being towed. These arrests come before a new law went into effect in Tennessee on July 1st. The penalty for drag racing has gone from a class A misdemeanor to a class E felony, punishable by up to six years in prison and a fine of up to $3,000. We asked Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy's office about the new law and enforcement. His team telling us in part, DA Mulroy acknowledges there has been a problem with drag racing and will vigorously prosecute these offenses as felonies to ensure offenders are properly punished. Drag racing is incredibly dangerous and puts innocent people at risk. The Shelby County District Attorney General's office will give each of these cases the attention it deserves. Also telling us the office will continue to enforce the law as written and move for the seizure and forfeiture of automobiles used in drag racing. For your news leader, Shea Arthur, WREG News Channel 3. And we did reach out to Memphis police about the number of drag racing and reckless driving arrests so far this year compared to last year. We're told they're checking on that data.